Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hippos and whatever. Um, this is Betty Potato Pants, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to do your, how to do and set up your Pick 13 Create a Class, basically. Um, I'm going to assume that you don't know what you're doing, because I didn't know what I was doing when I first came in. This was my very first Call of Duty. Uh, I was a Battlefield before this, and you know, yeah, I got over the stigma and came on over. It's actually a really fun game. Um, just so you know. Anyways, creating a class is a little confusing. It's not rock and science, but it is a little confusing because, um, like, when I started the game, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to set things up, and none of my friends played the game. So this is my reach out to you. Anyways, so. Here is your create a class. Go into the create a class menu. And notice that up here at the top you have 13 ticks. 13 ticks with three taken up. Um, these are the things that you need to fill up. Um, the three taken up are one, two, three. These guys right here. Now, um, in order to remove these things, all you have to do is hit F2, F2. F2. Um, this is for PC, by the way. <laughs> um, anyways, so now we're completely clear. We are completely clear. Um, so first order of business, what we're going to do is we're going to pick our weapon. Um, a lot of people go with the BAL-27. They say it's the best gun in the game, blah, blah, blah. I kind of disagree, but anyways, that's for another discussion. So I'm actually going to go over to submachine guns. Uh, notice you've got Assault rifle, submachine gun, sniper rifle, shotguns, heavy weapons, and specials. Boom, 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 boom. Specials, grenade launcher, MDL, and heavy shield. We're going to go over to submachine gun. And I'm going to go to ASM-1, which is one of my favorite guns. One of my favorite guns. It's kind of awesome. Um, I'm going to go way over here to the speakeasy as a good example. Now, you will notice that the speakeasy has this little icon, but it only has one tick up here. That's because that's included. Now, uh, so, what you're going to do is, next is you're going to select your attachments. You can get up to three attachments on your gun. So, what I like to do is do laser sight and this guy right here. Now, notice what happens when I do this that happens. The tick up here occupied something. So, we got our, we're going to go quick draw drip now. Quick draw grip. Now, notice that it takes up another one. It takes up a tick to open these wild card slots, or these extra slots right here. You've got to remember that, because otherwise you're going to wrestle with it. Now, your perks. Your perks over here, these allow you to run faster, not be seen by radar, things like that. Um, we're going to go with, let's see, my f one of my favorites. I like to boost slam, overcharged. And then we're going to go to perk two. We're going to go to cold-blooded, be a little invisible. And this is mandatory for me, hardwired. I hate being system hacked, and you will too. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. That is three perks. Now, uh, you can choose whether or not to uh, arm exo abilities, things like that. Um, your grenade launchers, we'll get into that in a moment. Now, this right here, are, these right here are your pistols, uh, your launchers, and your specials. You got a crossbow in this thing, in this slot, which I have not yet unlocked. Um, I don't like running around with launchers unless there's um, somebody with a uh, score streak up, or if it's a daily goal or achievement. Um, anyways. Hit escape, go back. I rarely go with the pistol. Um, I like to run with the knives, but. So, we are going to choose that guy. Notice, it takes up another slot, but it's only one. This has its very own attachment. It doesn't count, but it does take up a slot. It, doesn't, it takes up a slot here, not here. Now, um, with your exo abilities, you've got exo shield, exo overclock, exo mute, exo stim, exo cloak, exo ping, exo hover, 
and Exo Trophy, which I haven't unlocked in this prestige level. Um, these all do different things. Um, this one brings up a shield that takes energy. Um, it will block everything that comes at it for a short duration until it runs out of power. Exo Overclock gives you a temporary boost in speed. Exo Mute silences your footsteps, which is neat. Um, Exo Stim uh, kind of it, it basically makes you a semi juggernaut. Um, gives you extra health in case you want to go in some place like, you know, breach um, a room or something like that. So you can go in there, kill something, your buddies can follow you, and you more than likely die because, you know, they see the little cross. Anyways, Exo Cloak, you go invisible for a little while. Exo Hover, this, this one right here is tricky. It's a tricky, tricky thing. You jump. You hit your exo ability and then you hover, which throws people way off their game. It gives you that extra hesitation while you're in midair to shoot back down at them. Um, exo ping shows movement, shows uh, exo movement and weapons fire. So when uh, people do an exo jump, an exo slide, an exo dodge, it shows up on your radar. All right, <clears throat> now you can indeed. Equip more than one Exo ability, but that requires a wild card slot. We'll get to that in a moment. So your Exo launcher. These, f this fires your grenades um, and your tracking drone. Um, you've got your regular frag grenade, which is cookable. The longer you hold it, the shorter a time it has. Boom. Uh, stun grenade blinds. It's a flashbang. Variable grenade. Uh, as you can see, it goes through stun, EMP, blah 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 blah. Um, Semtex, it is C4 explosive that's on a timer. It's not cookable. You can't uh, you can't hit E to explode it. It just goes. But you can stick it to your enemy. Uh, the tracking drone will f uh, once you fire this, it will find someone, and then once it finds someone, it will follow them, and it will show up on your radar, which is kind of neat. It'll show where where they're facing and everything. They can destroy it. They can shoot it out of the air. Threat Grenade, it's uh, kind of like a temporary wall hack, it'll allow you to see through walls. It shows up as a red grid wherever an enemy enemy player is. The EMP Grenade! Uh, this buddy right here, it's kind of hard to know when you do and do not want to uh, equip this guy, but it dis disables equipment like the Goliath or the Gatling Gun, uh, the remote turret, things like that. Smoke grenade. The smoke is boss in this game. It is so boss. Not not like in Arma 3 or in Battlefield where, you know, it's just kind of smoky. You can kind of see through. No, this is smoke. Smoke. Um, it's amazing. Although, if somebody, if they have a threat grenade out or some other thing that allows them to see the enemies, they can see right through that because you're just a red grid to them. Um, the explosive drone. It's, it's proximity drone. Um... Basically, you toss it, enemy comes near it, it follows them, and explodes. The spike drone is basically that. It's a bald spike that you can boomerang back to you on command. Anyways, so you can have two of those things, or you can take up a wild card slot, get your bombardier, and you can throw an extra grenade. Uh, you can throw the extra grenade with your exo ability key. It's not going to be your grenade key. Um, score streaks. As you can see, we've got some pretty awesome things here. Uh, aerial Recon Drone, which paints enemies. Um, you've got your UAV, Assault Drone, uh, Orbital Care Package, which is neat. Um, you know, on down the line. System Hack, Bombing Run, blah, 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 blah. Um, now, you can equip these. And you can do that. What's neat is if you hit F1, you can customize it. Uh, there are different perks you can add to it for extra uh, battle points or whatever they're called. Um, and let's go ahead and do the support, which allows it to live through multiple lives. Now, we're going to hit escape and go back. Notice that, that me doing that did not take up an extra tick. That is on the machine, not on you. Okay, so we got score streak 2. We're going to go, oh, uh, we're going to go Vulcan, and then we're going to go Bombing Run. Um, once again, bombing run. Let's do. Uh, we're gonna do care packages. Yeah, that's gonna be neat. Notice once again, 
how it does not take up one of these. However, your wild card, card slots. Let's see. Uh, do. So, remember that everything you do takes almost takes up a slot. F2, take it away, click it, adds a slot. F2, take it away, click it, adds a slot. Alright, I'm, I'm done with that. So, hopefully, this helps you understand exactly how to set up your character for the noob, for guys like me who are new to the FPS world, new to the Call, new to the call of Duty world. Um, anyways, this is my 13-step tutorial on how to set up your tune in Call of Duty. This is Patio Potato Pants saying, have fun.